So in the previous video we have discussed about enum data type. What is enum data type? Some properties of enum data type, some important points with the help of example, right? In this video we will see some questions, interview questions that has been asked in technical round on enum data type, right? And if you are aware about the properties of enum data type that we have discussed in previous video, then you can easily answer these questions. These are not so tough type of questions, right? So better to go for that video first. The link I'll put in the uh, in this i button of this video. You can check out that video first and then come to this video, right? Then you can easy you can easily answer these questions. Whatever we will discuss in this video, right? But before that, just want to tell you one thing. On an academy, there is a great offer going on. You will get free extension on an academy subscription. You will get extra three months free with the twelve month and four months free with the twenty four month gate and ESC plus subscription. And if you will use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% off on these subscription. The price details you can see on my screen. But the point is this offer is valid till 24th of March. Price rises are very soon. So if you are planning to take any subscription on an academy, it's the, it's, it is the right time. And they have also started few batches for GATE 2023 and 2024 aspirants. In this course, their top educators are covering all the subjects of CS and IT and in this course, you will get preparation strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions, numericals along with the detailed explanation of all the concepts and the course will be covered in both Hindi and English and notes will be given to, in, given to you in English only and all your doubts will get cleared in separate doubt clearing sessions. But this is paid subscription, you can use my code JKL10 to get extra 10% off on these subscriptions. And they are also conducting a combat on 27th of March at 11 am. It is a live test and you can take this test for free. So here you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners from all over India and you stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. And with the help of personalized rating and scoring, you can measure your progress constantly. And after every combat, you will get detailed video solutions by their experts. So you can identify your weak areas, you can improve according to that and you can get it right next time. So all the relevant links and details I'll put in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's see the, those two questions that we are going to discuss, those two interview questions on enum. Let me just write down the, those questions first. So these are two questions. First we'll discuss this question. See, outside this main we have defined a data type with the help of this enum, enum, x enum, right? And the list of constant in this is what? C, CPP and Java. That's it. Now in main function, I'm declaring a variable where of this data type and I'm just printing size of where, right? Now what output you will get here? What output you will get here? First of all, think. And now remember the property. See, whenever you declare a variable of this enum, then at one time it can take only one value from out, from these values, out of these values, only one value at a time. At a time, only one value right and by default this would be considered as 0 1 2 by the compiler as integers 0 1 2 right and the size of integer is on 64 bit bit machine i am running this right so the size of int is 4 bytes so that is why size of where would be 4 bytes here Maybe in options MCQs you will get like 4 bytes or one is like 12 bytes or some error, these kind of things you will get, right? So the answer would be 4 bytes only. It will take at one time only one value and the value is, these are related with constant like 0, 1, 2, uh, so sorry, integers. So integer is taking 4 bytes in 64 bit machine, so it will give 4 bytes. Now if I modify this with this thing, enum, one more enum, y enum and here I am writing C. CPP, Java and X enum, right? And in main, I am, I am doing what? Y enum where and size of where. So what output you will get in this case? See, one property I have told you that in the same scope, same values of these, these same values are not allowed. C, CPP, Java, these are same, so it is not allowed, it will give error. But see, here I am using, in enum, I am using another en enum. This is another enum I am using. This is allowed. This will not give error. But yeah, these values are duplicate because in the same scope, we are using two enum and these constant are same, so it will give error, right? Right? Yeah, enum within enum is allowed, but these duplicates are not allowed. Right? I hope you got this. 
Now you can try out this thing. Another thing is what? You can remove just this and just write down x enum here. That's it. And then what output you will get? This is assignment for you. You have to tell me in comment box. Run this program and tell me what you will get here size of var. Next is what? This thing. See, here I am using type def. Enum, within this enum, the values are male and female, only two values and gender. Name of this is gender. Now in main function, gender, where I am declaring a variable of the enum type and I am assigning the value female and I am printing this where. So now what output you will get? Male is 0 by default, female is 1. So here you will get 1. But you have to tell me, you are supposed to run this program and you have to tell me that these answers are correct or not. Maybe I am wrong, right? So run these programs, tell me you are getting, you know, uh, error or you are getting same output or not. Maybe in this you will get error like here I am using only gender, I am not using enum here, but here I am using enum and I have told you in the previous video also, when you are declaring a variable, you are supposed to use enum, then the name, but in here I am using only I am not using enum, I am using only gender. So maybe you think it will give error, just run it and if it, it is not giving any error, you are getting 1, then why you are getting correct output, why it is not giving error, why? The answer of this question you are supposed to write down in comment box, right, why? If you do not know, then you can ask me in comment box, I will tell you in a, another video, whenever we will make another video, then I will tell you the answer of these questions, right. I hope now these See, these questions I guess very simple if you know the properties of enum, right? Then these questions are very simple for you guys. So that's it for this video now. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.